Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. There is a big upgrade ready for the Nvidia Shield. This upgrade will cover everything from the original Nvidia Shield that came out in 2015 all the way up to of course the most recent edition of the Nvidia Shield Pro. This experience is the NVIDIA Shield Upgrade 9.0, and what it actually is, is Android TV 11.0. So, don't get confused with the 9 and the 11. This is the latest Android TV update. Now, if you have your NVIDIA Shield set up to automatically download the updates, you'll see this message as we see up on the top. When you click on Details, it just tells you to go ahead and restart it. When you do that, it will automatically restart and start installing that entire upgrade. If you do not have your NVIDIA Shield set up that way, if you have it set up so that you don't automatically get upgrades, some people like to do that just in case they're concerned about new features, go into Settings and make your way down to the section that says Device Preferences. Click on that, click on About, and you'll see the top of the list is System Upgrade. We're going to click on that and check for upgrades. And of course, our system already checked overnight and set us up for the upgrade. So when we say check for upgrade, it'll let us know. It'll just say, we've got it already. If you have not had it set up that way, it will look for the upgrade and tell you you're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and restart this so that we can get it going. You see that it is preparing to install. Now this is a very substantial update to the NVIDIA Shield, which of course was already like the premier Android TV system. NVIDIA says the upgrade includes everything that you can get through Android TV 11, including the updated Gboard keyboard and the one-time permissions that you can get on phones and tablets. It also includes support for new controllers. It allows you to use wireless headphones. Some of the new controllers include the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller via both Bluetooth and USB, as well as a Steam Controller. So, pretty much most things that you're comfortable using are usable through the NVIDIA Shield once you have everything updated. Now, if you're wondering, you do not have to upgrade to Android TV 10 in order to do this upgrade. The system skipped over Android 10 and just set itself up for Android 11. This is good news for everybody. It makes everything faster. If you haven't been upgrading all along, that means you, know, you don't have to do an entire upgrade and reset the system just to skip to the next thing. So as you see, it is coming into focus now. We've got the Android symbol on here or not the Android symbol but it just says Android and when we get to the other side we will see the new screen really the new screen looks just like the old screen but all of the exciting stuff is happening in the background so it's finishing the upgrade And we are launching now into the screen. Now you'll see that everything, like I said, it looks essentially the same. But there is still a little bit of work to be done because with this upgrade comes an accessories update. And you see the shield accessories update alert pops up. And we're going to go ahead and take care of that so that we can make sure that the remote control itself is completely updated to handle 
the new capabilities. So, going into details, and we're going to continue the update. Again, if you don't have anything automatically set up to update, you can also go into the settings like I showed you before with the other update. And you see NVIDIA is getting quickly to updating the control. This is just your basic remote control. If you have an NVIDIA Shield gaming controller, it will also sense it and update it just as long as you have it operational. So we are letting it finish and it's all ready to go. So now our NVIDIA Shield Pro is completely updated. As you'll see, it doesn't really look appreciably different, but it is capable of doing a whole lot more as you go. We'll just scroll through. You still see it has the apps menu, settings menu, and if you like, you can go in and just, just take a look and make sure that there are no more updates to do. So just like we did before, we're going to go into System Upgrade. We're going to check for an upgrade. And you see you've got your two choices. So we're checking for the upgrade. It says we're up to date, version 9.0. So we have the Android TV 11.0. Just in case, you, know, you can you can tap it as many times as you want. Just just tap it in, but it's not going to make a difference. Once you've updated to the latest, you've got it. Of course, months from now you'll have other choices. You can also go into this section and determine whether you want this thing to automatically do so. You see, we if you tap. Upgrade me when an upgrade is available versus checking for upgrades automatically that can control whether you get these things. And, you know, why would you want to do that? Because some people just don't want every upgrade to come through. Maybe they're worried that it'll disable something that they set in, mess up some sort of settings. But that is the way you go about this. As you move through, I want to point something out. You still got the Android TV experience that you always had with the NVIDIA Shield. When I say the Android TV experience, I'm talking about these channel rows based on the apps that you've got. You can still customize it and choose what you want as far as your channels available. But there's something that has been updated in the past couple of months that... People kind of confused with things. They say NVIDIA Shield has the Google TV system now. Google TV is really just a launcher that's built into Android TV. And what they've done with the NVIDIA Shield that's very cool is they've put it together with new tabs. And the tab that you want to look at here is the Discover tab. The Discover tab basically shows you the same thing you would be seeing if you were using something like a Google Chromecast with Google TV built in. You see, instead of having channels based on you know, specific apps, it now brings it together. Sitcoms, 1990s movies, and so on. This allows you to get a kind of best of both worlds scenario where you have the most powerful Android TV system with the most powerful processors, the most space and RAM, along with the ability to organize things by your apps and by the genre of what you're watching. So those two things put together that way makes for quite the combination and a really powerful system. I think it's the most powerful and versatile Android TV experience you can get right now. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. Share this video with your friends. 
We're going to keep on looking at cord cutting tech and streaming tech as we go. And look forward to a great 2022. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.